Hello everybody, this is Austin Peachy, and today I'm going to do a playthrough of the Adventures in Odyssey 3D CD-ROM game. And I am running this on a Windows 8.1 computer with an AMD A8 5550M 64-bit version. And I haven't had no problem running this game on my computer, surprisingly. When I first tried this on my Windows XP, it had some issues, but... This seems to be working fine right now. Well, you notice that it opens with the video intro with the book opening, but surprisingly, they don't use the video theme song. They use the theme song from the radio uh, show during this time period. Today, I'm going to walk through the first part of the game, which is the scavenger hunt. And right here is Wonder World, where is basically the menu screen for the entire game. You can choose your level of difficulty, load, save, the credits, and quit, of course. So let's go ahead and start the scavenger hunt. Hi there. I'm John Avery Whitaker, but you can call me Wit. I've been waiting Hi, for Wit. you. In fact, you're just the person I need to see. We've got two great things happening at Wits End today. Later on, we're having a science fair, and you'll want to be part of that. But right now, we're about to start a grand scavenger hunt. I'm glad you came in, because I need five players for the hunt, and you're the fifth. Follow me. You can see this tr scene trans transition here is part of the 3D of the game. Really cool. These are your fellow hunters, Holly, Dylan, Jesse, and Carter. Hi. 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 Here's your list. These items are scattered throughout Wits End. Will we be able to see them, Mr. Whitaker? Now, some of them will be more visible than others, Holly, but all will be pretty well that actually hidden. Actually, sounds more like now you can go into Courtney any or room to look for Julie. The items. In each room, you'll find a person. You can ask that person questions, and they'll give you clues. The object, of course, is to collect all of the items on the list. Can you collect more than one of each item? You only need one, Dylan. Don't be greedy. I'll be keeping tabs on you, and every so often, I'll announce over the intercom how each of you is doing. Doing? Yes, you know, who has found what. And that's now, Arya Curzon there, to successfully complete who the plays Mandy. Hunt gets a special prize, a trip in the Stratoflyer. Awesome! Sounds easy. Think so, huh? Well, guess again. There's more going on here than meets the Can't eye. Can't pinpoint his, Are you his voice. Yeah! Uh, Carter's right, voice, then, I believe. Go! Have fun! Yeah! Why are you just standing there? <laughs> Get moving! Wow, they move fast, don't they? Alrighty, let's go down the hallway here. Compared to now and today's graphics, this is really old, but for the time period, this is actually pretty good graphics here. And it actually kind of feels like you're going through with sand a little bit. Alright, here's a computer room. Who should be in there but Eugene Meltzner? Felicitations. I am Eugene Meltzner, college student, recognized local genius, and employee and confidant of Mr. Whitaker. I stand ready to assist you on your hunt in whatever ways are allowable and permissible under the rules established by the aforementioned Mr. Whitaker. Please refer to your list and feel free to ask me about any item thereon. And the items are very easy to spot, of course, but if you want, you click on your item list up here and ask about each item in there. I cannot truthfully respond in the affirmative. Or if you click on the item that they have I in here. The answer is at hand. <laughs> and he hates puns. Alright, so we just click on the items here. There's usually about five in each room here. My heartiest compliments. You have retrieved all the items in this room that are on the list. I applaud your accomplishment. However, I could use your assistance with a problem, if you're so inclined. Will you help me? And you can choose to do it, or you can go into the scavenger hunt. But to finish the game, you're going to have to uh, help them. So here we go. Excellent. I have just finished programming a trivia game that is played on a large screen in the little theater. If you would be so kind as to repair to the theater and play the game, I would be most grateful. I shall monitor our progress from here. Off you go. And there's some more of the 3D effect. 
There you are. Come on down. Hey, it's Phil. Greetings. Welcome to another round of Wise Guys. As you know, the object is to answer several trivia questions within a certain time limit. A menorah is a candelabrum used in the celebration of the Jewish High Holy Days. How many candles does it hold? One, seven, two, five, three, one, four, nine, five, ten. That's kind of confusing without the numbers together. But anyway, through all this, you have to answer the questions. And if you get enough uh, guess correctly, then you'll win. If not, you have to start it over. So we'll see how I do. I believe it's seven. If, uh, what's his name from That's a Trivia Pursuits, is, right? The yep. menorah has seven arms holding seven candles, representing the seven days of creation, among other things. Which area of your body has the most bones? One. Your hips, two, your skull, three, your ears, four, your sternum, five, your throat. Mm, I believe it's the skull. Very good. Yeah. Your skull contains 22 bones, your ears, six, your sternum, three, your hips, two, and your throat, one. Now, is the uh, toe bone connected to the thigh bone, or is it the other way around? Which statement <laughs> about your brain is not true? One. It has no feeling. Two, thinking burns calories. Three, <laughs> I wish. it keeps working even after you die. Four, the bigger the brain, the larger the IQ. Five, more than 100,000 chemical reactions occur in your brain each second. I should mention down here, Harlow Doyle and Doug Harding are down here. All right. Is not true. Hmm. I'm probably guessing this one here. Correct. Wow. In otherwise normal people, there is no correlation I know that between was... brain size and intelligence. Yeah. I knew that was wrong, but the thinking burns In calories. Phrase, never knew that. Grist for the mill. What is grist? One, a type of toothpaste. Two, a grinding stone. Three, water. Four, grain or corn. Five. Bones. Mm, I think it's grain or corn. Well done. All right. This is the grain or corn ground up in the mill. Toothpaste indeed. Clara <laughs> Barton was the founder of the Red Cross. What was her nickname? One, Florence Nightingale. Two, Angel of Mercy. Three, Dr. Welby. <laughs> Four, Angel of the Battlefield. Five, The Healer. Mm, I know it's one of the angel ones. Um, I think it's Angel of the Battlefield. Very good. All right. Clara Barton was a nurse in the Civil War. She gave her patients such good care, they called her Angel of the Battlefield. Who said, charity begins at home and justice begins next door? Was it, one, the guy who created Scrooge. Two, the guy who created Aslan. Three, the girl who created Barney. Um, I'm probably guessing it was Charles Dickens. Excellent. All right. Charles Dickens, who created Ebenezer Scrooge, often used his stories to talk about charity and to try to bring about social change. You need to look in the want ads for a new bicycle seat. The problem is you don't have a newspaper, but your vacationing neighbor does. Do you? One, use your neighbors since he's on vacation anyway. Two, schlep all like the way Kurt, down doesn't to the it? store to buy your own newspaper. Three, just keep your old bicycle seat. Wise choice. Even though your neighbor isn't at home and has no use for the paper, it's still his paper. Purchase your own. Well, I got that one wrong. Here's your paper, Doug. So that's where it went. What <laughs> is the name of the brightest star? One, Castor. Two, Sirius. Three, Cassiopeia. Four, Pollux. Five, Elvis. Oh, Elvis, of course. Um, I think it's Cassiopeia. Ah. Two. Serious. Wrong. Everyone at school is wearing the latest, coolest tennis shoes. You want a pair, too, but they cost $125. You have the money in mm, your savings sounds like Jimmy account, Barkley. but you're supposed to be saving it for a cool school field trip to Washington, D.C. Do you? One. Suffer through the rest of the school year in your out-of-style sneakers. Two, spend the money. You'll probably be able to get more for your trip from mom and dad anyway. Three, 
beg your folks to loan you the money so you won't be a social outcast. Wise decision. Purchasing something simply because everyone else is purchasing it is a terrible reason for doing something. Save your money and have a great trip to Washington, D.C. Who said, a truth that's told with bad intent beats all the lies you can invent? Was it, one, Mother Goose, two, William Blake, three, Aesop? Mmm, I think it's Aesop. Ah. Uh. Two, William Blake. Well, at least I knew it wasn't Mother Goose. No way! Excellent score! You've done it! Good! Congratulations! You completed the game in grand fashion. It's fortunate you didn't have to use my computer screen, eh? Uh, unfortunately, I have nothing with which to clean it. Hmm, that's a hint, but we'll have to come back to that later. Anyway, the trivia game, they have other questions. Sometimes they're Odyssey-related, like, I guess one of the Odyssey characters was, while well, the picture slowly shows up. Um... A few other stuff, but actually that's a lot more fun than the answer that video game that uh, Focus on the Family made later. Okay, let's leave. Um, there we go. Farewell! Our guest now has five items. Dylan now has five Look, there's items. there's a soda shop. Holly now has three items. Jesse now has five items. Carter now has five items. And I should say, if you're playing the game, you can skip these cutscenes by pushing the space bar, but since I'm doing a playthrough of the whole game so you can see how it all works, I am going to refrain from doing that. But if you have the game, you can just push the space bar to skip through this stuff, including the dialogue. Hey, it's Bernard. Oh, hello. I'm Bernard Walton. I do all the janitorial stuff here at Wits End, including washing the windows and mopping the floors. So make sure your feet are clean and keep your fingers off the glass. Now, yeah, I suppose you're here about the scavenger hunt. Well, let's get it over with. Ask your questions. Of course, they're pretty obvious, but, you know, Bernard always has some great lines. Nope. Not one of them, but... <laughs> not by a long shot. Okay, I guess maybe he's not going to be quite as clever today. Well... Looks like you got the items on your list in this room, so... Oh, no, no, no. Here comes that dog Sherman again. I uh, wish Dylan would keep him tied up. He's gonna track his muddy paw prints all over my nice, clean floor. Uh, unless I can get these windows closed. Uh, I can't do it all by myself, though. You wouldn't want to help me, would you? I need you to go outside and shut all the windows before Sherman can jump in them. I'll stay here and latch the windows you shut, okay? Get going. All right. If you know how to do this game, it can be pretty easy. If you hit the B, Oop, there goes that one. You get stuff in, there's stuff in your path, you gotta make sure you don't hit because otherwise you can't close the windows during that time. I found the best thing to do is open windows real quick and close them real quick so he can't get in and you use a fly swatter too there if you wanted to to uh, get rid of the bee but that takes too long and you can also break stuff too more stuff for Bernard to clean up Okay, we made it. And of course, if you get it wrong, you'll be able to start over. But that's probably one of my least favorite mini games on here, so I'm glad that part's over. Man, Sherman has very loud feet. Okay, we're back. Well, well, 
nice of you to join me again. Nice job. Now I might be able to finish up here early. And that's really good because I need to help out at my church's ice cream social. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ice cream and games and... Oh, that reminds me I was supposed to bring something. Now, what was it? Games? No, no. Ice cream? No. What was it? Okay, and we'll have to work on that later. So let's go to the next room here. Hey, it's Tom. Well, howdy. I'm Tom Riley. I grow apples on a farm outside of town, and I'm Wit's good friend. I know you're anxious to get on with the hunt, so I won't keep you. Go ahead and ask your questions. One nice thing about this game is that when the video series, there's a few characters in the show, including Tom, you get to talk to them. Hammer, matches, and a hoe. That's everything on your list in this room. Congratulations. Guess you can be on your way. Of course, I do have a little project I could use your help with, if you've a mind. How about it? Okay. Well, I've got to repair some shelves in the other room, and I need lots of nails and screws and bolts and nuts to do it. But look at that work table. All right. In this game, we got to match what's shown up here. we got to put those in this tin over here. we got to click and hold to put them in there. Uh, it's usually pretty easy, but... Uh, oh, there we go. And then when you get that done, you get more time added. Oop. There we go. And nope. All right. You can also see your score here, too. Oops. There we go. Oops. There we go. Excellent job. That doesn't sound like Tom. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you're back. I think the other kids are getting ahead of you. Great job. The shelves and work table look real nice. Now I can read my book, if I could see it. When you get to be my age, your eyes don't work like they used to. If only I had something to make the print larger. Hold on. Where are you going? So you decided to come back, huh? Good. Nice job. Now I might be able to finish. Okay. Where are you going? Eh, kids never finish anything. Our guest now has 12 items. Dylan now has 12 items. Holly now has 12 items. Jesse now has 11 items. And there's Connie. Hi there. I'm Connie Kendall. And I work here at Wit's End. <laughs> I have no idea why the they made her make her voice so high. And I'm ready when you are. Look at your list and ask me whatever you want. I'm pretty sure that's Keith Lee. I think her voice is in the credits. But I have no idea why they made her voice so high. Great going. Those are all of the items on your list around here. But before you go, I could really use your help with a problem. If you have the time, that is. How about it? Great! I want you to help out behind the counter. 
This is part of my favorite mini game. You have to get, actually you get to work at what's in. Then grab a cup, cone, dish, or glass. Take it to the right ice cream or soda spout and fill it up. Once it's filled, just place it on a tray and ring the bell to let me know the order's up. There's nothing to it. You just have to keep ahead of things, that's all. Now, if you don't fill an order, they'll pile up and everyone will get really mad at you and leave. You got it? Good. Sort of like Diner Dash, yeah. but a little more fun. Order, please. Okay, it shows right up here. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, Sunday. There we go. And ring the bell. Okay, hot cocoa. Whoop! Got. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Got to click and hold. And all you need to do for the dirty dishes is close it and open it. I leave it open so it's easier to get to. Oop! Hot cocoa. There we go. No Wadfam chalk sods, but oh well. Order, please. Okay, we got a soda. Wow, that cup still made it through. <laughs> I think if you make the game a little bit hard, you'll have more than one item on each order to do. Order, please. Oh, there we got one. Got two ice cream cones. Let's, let's get that soda. I'm not sure about the dishes. I think you can keep going with them. Like you can uh, keep it out there for a long time, but. You want to focus on the orders. And ice cream. Where's my order? Be patient, Connie. See, I don't know how they run with him with just one person or no people sometimes. There we go. Congratulations. And thanks for all your help. There, her voice sounds normal there. Hey, how are you? Ah, this crazy cash register. Oh, I'm glad you didn't need change. It isn't working right. Eugene fixed it before, probably computerized it. Or electric or electrified it. it. Okay. Let's see. And we need to hey, go now. Where are you going? Our guest now has 18 items. Dylan now has 16 items. Holly now has 18 items. Jesse now has 17 items. Carter now has 18 items. I just realized there's an intercom that would season that they hardly use in, in Woodsend and the radio show. Okay, we're back in the computer room. The prodigal has come back. Congratulations. You completed the game in grand fashion. It's fortunate you didn't have to use my computer screen, eh? And just repeating uh, it there. Unfortunately, I have nothing with which to clean it. And as part of the scavenger hunt, the stuff that you take, you need to give to them to help them. Negative. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that for sure is the paper towels. I cannot truthfully respond in the affirmative. Oh, oh, there we go, Austin. Right mouse to click to offer the item. Thank you. I there shall we go. put them to good use. And you see now you don't have the paper towels anymore. So you may be getting the idea so that there's more to the scavenger Farewell. hunt than you think. Wit's trying to teach a lesson here. Our guest here. now has 17 items. Dylan now has 17 items. Holly now has 18 items. Jesse now has 18 items. Carter now has 18 items. Okay.
So you decided to come back, huh? Good. Nice job. Now I might be able to finish up here early. And that's really good because I need to help out at my church's ice cream social. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ice cream spoons, right. Thanks. Well, don't just stand there. All the other hunters are getting ahead of you. Get going. <laughs> that's the problem with kids today. They just like to stand and stare. Or run around too much. as complained about Kurt. Oh, wait, that's right. Um... Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. I think the other kids are getting ahead of you. Great job. Hold on. Where are you going? I forgot. There's one more room we need to go into. Why'd you leave me? I know. I wasn't exciting enough, was I? Eh, <laughs> doesn't matter. You're back now. Where are you going? Eh, kids never finish anything. Right. Our guest now has 16 items. Oop, Dylan way. now has 14 items. Holly now has 18 items. Jesse now has 15 items. Carter now has 16 items. There we go. And here's the library. And there's the stairs and the front door. I'm, sup I'm assuming. And who's in the library but... Harlow Doyle. Hmm. Trying to sneak up on me, eh? <laughs> I'm... Hello, Doyle, Private Eye, and you're interrupting a very important case. My briefcase, actually. I can't seem to find it. But I'm not the only one looking for things, am I? Hmm? Am I? Hmm? Didn't think so. Lots of people have been coming in here asking for some very peculiar items. Come to think of it, the people were pretty peculiar, too. What if there's a connection there? Oh, well, enough of that. What can I help you with? Hmm? <laughs> or, or. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I don't. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't. <laughs> all right, only two items in here, I think. Great frozen tundra. You got all the items on the list in this room. Guess you can go now. <laughs> That's what you want to do. But first, I have a problem to solve, and I need your help to do it. I think Harlow needs a lot of help. I do? And you can tell all the way over there, huh? Hmm. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have had radishes for lunch. Oh, well, on with my problem. Or, as we say in the business, my problem. Problem. Now, I've made composite police sketches of everyone who frequents Wits End, along with brief bios of those people. But a saboteur, or as we say in the business, a saboteur, saboteur cut them up <laughs> and scattered the pieces. Now, I need you to reassemble the pieces to make the portraits make sense. The bios are on this pad of paper. They tell all about how the people look. You might want to read them so you'll know what goes where. Ready? Go! I'm going to go get some coffee myself. <laughs> it's probably the most uh, kiddish game on here, but it's kind of funny. If you know what the video characters look like, you're, you're going to be able to get it pretty much all right, but there's a few that might be a little bit harder. Um, there we go. And ah, here we go. We Jesse. For some reason, I think there's a bug in the game, but she gets rainbow-colored hair, which isn't supposed to be part of the any of them. There we go. And I guess... No one set for set for hers. Of course, you can just choose one at random. Uh, maybe her eyes are different. There we go. And Connie. <laughs> wow. There we go. And somehow it's rainbow colored there too. Actually, that's probably. Oh wait, no. She she dyed her hair purple, not green. I think it's that one. It's 
been a while since I've played this, so this may take a little while. She had eyebrows like that or not? I'm pretty sure those on her eyes. Oh wait, it's her hair. That's... Oh, there we go. That's what was the problem. Excellent job. There we go. So it's a little more natural now. <laughs> and with... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm taking screenshots of parts of the game while I play this. These are pretty funny. Yeah, there we go. He looks almost completely bald there. I know there's probably more hair right here, but wow. Anyway... Ooh, wit with a monocle. Of course, his mustache. Excellent job. There we go. <laughs> and there's patriotic Eugene. And look at this, you actually get to see Eugene's eyes before he shaved his head. There we go. Okay. I think that's it. Excellent job. And Doug, which is a little bit harder since you don't see him very often. I think it's only that I can two or three of the videos. Yeah. Some eyebrows. Hmm, he has a toothpick. Or a cigarette. Which, no, I think it's a toothpick. Sort of like Buck Oliver. Good job. Wow. Uh -huh. Returning to the scene, eh? Great Wall of China. They're done. This calls for a celebration. How about a nice salad? <laughs> of course, for a salad, you need vegetables. I'm trying to grow veggies on a little patch of land in back of my office. It isn't easy, though. I don't have all the tools I need. I don't believe the music is supposed to continue, but it does. Let's see. Let's offer him the garden a hoe. A garden hoe! Just what I need! Fresh veggies at last! And now, I'm off to another case. And you'd better be off, too. Leaving the scene, eh? There we go. The music stopped. Oh, there's Wit. Congratulations. You've earned that trip in the Stratoflyer. Come on. And here comes the most hardest, yes, well, Eugene. hardest part it? of the game. Bad news, I'm afraid. Captain Quinn from the Odyssey Police just called. Doug Harding and the Bones of Wrath are causing trouble outside of town. Spray painting walls, stealing apples, breaking fences, and upending bovine. You mean tipping cows? I believe I just said that. <laughs> Captain Where the graphics are, looks are like that cows flying in the air. In the vernacular, put the pinch on them. Ah, pick them up. Precisely. The good captain also told me to warn you that Doug and the Bones won't go quietly. Understood, Eugene. Tell Captain Quinn we'll take care of it. Will do, Mr. Whitaker. Roger and out. Well, looks like this will be a trip with a purpose. Now we'll have to neutralize them by tossing a net over them. Then we'll pick them <laughs> that up is with so the like, unlike which, Mr. Whitaker. We'll have to watch our fuel. That's really, really going way too far. We need to collect the whole gang, including Doug. He's going to be tough. Hang on. With this, you just move your mouse around to go up and down, and then we click to shoot a net. And our fuel up here, too. And you only have a 
a certain amount of Whoops. 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 It is very Whoops. difficult. Oh, there we go. You notice they say Rodney, and it's supposed to be Doug in the videos. There we go. Wow, I haven't played this in ages, so I guess I'm getting better at it. Gotta kind of aim slightly ahead of him and below, I think. Look out! That was Whoops! Whoops! There we go. There's one. There's Doug. And I believe Adam Wiley is the one that plays Doug Harding. Run out of nets. I don't believe you're able to get any more nets or fuel. Mm, there's one. So better be careful. Whoops. Whoops. Good boy. I think I better wait on the fuel. Let's wait for some nets. There we go. And no, you can't get the cows. There's uh. Whoops. 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 You see a little bit of the game messing up on the left There's there. One. Down to three nets. There we go. Oop. And you can only get the nets or fuel once. And if you run out of nets or fuel, you have to start the whole thing over again. Whoops. Got him. Oop, there we go. That's like even more outrageous than a lot of the other Odyssey videos itself. I am really glad you completed the scavenger hunt. You did a great job. But you know, even though you won, it really wasn't what I had in mind for you in this game. I think you need to try it again. Now don't look so disappointed. I told you there was more going on here than meets the eye. Tell you what, I'll give you a hint. You need to do something with the things you've collected. That's all I'm going to say. Go to it. Which I was hoping I had already done that, but... If you get make the game go in a certain way, well, then you, well, it can kind of skip over it. Again. If you get all the items but don't give it to anybody, then you'll win and win it, there the scavenger are, hunt, but... Cracky. Great job. The shelves and work table look A magnifying glass. There we go. Just what I need. Thank you very much. Now you better get going. The rest of the hunt is waiting. And you can take on. back Where what you, you had given away too if you wanted to. Well, glad to see you're back. Where are you going? Eh, kids never finish anything. Our guest now has 18 items. Okay. Dylan now has 18 items. Holly now has 16 items. Jesse oh, now yeah, that's has right. I forgot. We items. need to help Connie, too. Carter now has Oops. 18 items. Let's see if you can get the magnifying glass. Again. It's you! Uh, isn't it? Leaving the scene, eh? Our guest now has 19 items. Dylan now has 18 items. 
Holly now has 18 items. Jesse now has 17 items. Carter now has 18 items. I wish the game was non-linear, but if you don't do things right on this one, you have to redo some things over again. Hi, I missed you. <laughs> ah, this crazy cash register. Oh, I'm glad you didn't need change. Oh, thanks. Now I can fix my register. And you can keep looking for the stuff on your list. Have fun. Normal hey, voice again. Where are you going? And high voice again. There we go. Congratulations, you've done it. You not only helped everyone, you gave up some of the things you collected so that others could benefit. That's great. You've also earned another trip in the Stratoflyer. And just in time, too, because Doug and his cronies have escaped again. What do you oh, say? brother. Well, you've seen already how I've done it, and that's one of the hardest uh, mini games in this, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. Well, you've certainly earned it. Why don't you go find Eugene so you and he can work well, on that's a project the end of for the science fair. The scavenger hunt. I just saw him go Make outside. sure to join me in my next video where we'll Connie go ahead and, and start myself. the mystery of the roses. I'll see you later, okay? See you later. And once again, thanks for watching. Well done.